protesting Edo women block major roads, ask Fulani headsmen to leave the state. Guys, the Fulani headsmen maintenance is becoming a serious issue in the country. And if care is not taken, there's going to be serious uh, crises that will result in serious issues. I'd like you to watch this video and see for yourself where Edo women were seen today in Urumi blocking major roads and demanding that Fulani headsmen must leave their state as a result of injustices, raping, kidnapping and other vices. Please watch for yourself. So guys, you can see that it is no longer child's play that the issue of the Fulani headsman has turned into a serious issue. The protesters noted that they were no longer safe, saying Fulani headsmen had taken over all the surrounding forests and bushes in the area. Worried by the insecurity in Edo State, some aggrieved women in Uromi have now protested the rising cases of attacks, rituals, and kidnapping by suspected Fulani headsmen. The women who blocked some major roads in the community alleged that they were constantly being harassed and intimidated by the headsmen. They lamented that they had lost fortunes as a result of the destructive activities of cows belonging to the headsmen. The protested or the protesters noted that they were no longer safe, saying that the Fulani headsmen had taken over all the surrounding forests and bushes in the area. They said the solution to the problem is for the Fulani headsmen to leave the area. They added that their crops were always being ravaged by cows while some of their kinsmen had been attacked by headsmen over time. Adding that, they now live in constant fear of the headsmen attack. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Reports that were gathered for that area said that the development has prevented many commuters from making use of the highways. In recent time, headsmen have been accused of kidnapping and raping in the southern parts of Nigeria. Recently, Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akredolu gave Fulani headsmen seven days to leave the state's forest reserves, saying some criminals masquerading as headsmen were using the forest to commit crimes. After the expiration of Akredolu's ultimatum, Southwest governors had a meeting with the Mieti Alakatu Breeders Association of Nigeria, where it was agreed that open grazing would be banned in the entire region. Around the same time, the Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igoho, also gave Fulani headsmen a seven days ultimatum to leave the Ibarakpa area of Oyo State, blaming them for the killings and kidnappings going on there. So guys, you can see that there is 
this is a serious issue that we have on our hands in the country. Now, it is no longer the southeast. It is no longer the southwest. It started from the southwest, then to the southeast. Now, the south-south is beginning to have their, encounter their own share. So, at least this, to a very large extent, should convince the president that this is a national issue and it is not just one tribe or two tribe or two region issue like the Hausas or Fulanese have made it to look. Where are we going from here? If women, old women, you know, women in the communities who are protectors of the communities can come out and, you know, declare that enough is enough that the Fulani headsmen has taken so much from them and they can no longer be. It shows that what the people have been talking about in other regions is the truth. It shows that these Fulani headsmen are into these crimes. For all Fulani indigenous or elites who have been condemning the accusation of the Fulanese, I think right now they have a better understanding of what is going on. Because they have been saying that there is a gang up against the Fulani race, against the Fulani ethnicity. There is uh, a, the, the Souths are ganging up against the Fulanis. Now, do we call this ganging up? If the Yorubas actually decided to gang up, or if the Easterners actually decided to gang up, will the whole re the southern region decide to gang up against only the Fulanis? Of course, it is not true. So you can see that they need to accept the fact that they, have, they are causing serious trouble and challenges in the South. It is either the government wake up, rise up to this challenge, address this issue once and for all, or as a matter of urgency and as a matter of fact, they look for a lasting solution. If not, if this menace decides to continue it is going to be very disastrous for the peace and stability of nigeria as a country nobody wishes the country a bad uh, circumstance or situation but with the way things are going if care is not taken there is going to be a serious issue who knows if other south south states would take to the streets soon or will come up with their own protest against the Fulani headsmen. Of course, the whole South region cannot wake up and decide to protest against the Fulanis if the Fulanis are not truly perpetrating this evil act. Let's tell ourselves the truth. It is high time, you know, we say the truth the way it is. The North should tell themselves the truth. Is it, is it, is it proper for the, the southern, the, the whole southern uh, region, the Yoruba, the Aousas, then the South South, come up against the Fulanese at the same time? Of course, no. It shows that something is wrong somewhere. It shows that the Fulani headsmen are truly uh, uh, responsible for the accusations uh, that they were accused. They are responsible for the illicit and evil activities that they are being uh, accused of. And it is high time that something is done about it, or else there's going to be serious chaos. Well, guys, it is what it is. What is the way forward as it is? Who knows what will be the way forward? Who knows which other region or tribe or ethnicity will be rising up again to speak against these ills? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. 